the Libero SOC Design Suite version 12.3 was released on December 10, 2019. Here are the new enhancements and features that come along with the release update. This release adds support for production timing for military operation conditions for Polarfire MPF300TS devices at a core voltage of 1.0 volts with standard speed grade. Preliminary timing for MPF200TS and MPF500TS devices at a core voltage of 1.0 volts with standard speed grade is also supported, as well as production power for all listed Polarfire FPGA devices. For our radiation-tolerant RTG4 FPGAs, we now support the 1657 FCG package for RTG4 150 devices with Dash 1 and standard speed grades and RTG4 150L devices with standard speed grade. We've made it a major focus to improve the runtime for each Libero release, and we've done that here. For Polarfire FPGAs, we've improved place and route runtime by 10% and also improved runtime for bitstream generation by 7%. We've also improved programming and debug runtime using Flash Pro 6 and significantly improved programming runtime for the RTG4 family. Significant runtime for smart debug using turbo mode option has been improved as well. Let's talk about Polarfire FPGA transceiver and PCIe blocks enhancements. Libero version 12.3 adds a generic transmit PLL for jitter attenuation. This can be accessed by setting jitter cleaning mode to custom protocol settings in the transmit PLL configurator. In addition, the transmit PLL also supports the spread spectrum mode, which can be enabled using the SSCG modulation radio button in the transmit PLL configurator. Enabling the SSCG modulation option will add a new SSCG modulation tab to configure the required parameters. This release also generates configuration reports for transceiver and PCIe blocks. A new configurator for RTG4 FCCC with enhanced PLL calibration has also been introduced. PLL instantiated in the RTG4 FCCC core with enhanced PLL calibration means that the non-triplicated fabric PLL lock stability is no longer dependent on the operating junction temperature. Existing designs using the FCCC without the PLL or with triplicated PLL do not need to migrate to the enhanced PLL calibration core unless the CCC shares the device corner with another fabric CCC that is using the non-triplicated PLL. Here are a couple of enhancements for the Smart Fusion 2 SoC and Igloo 2 FPGA families. We are now supporting extended configuration reports for clock conditioning circuit, CERTES, FDDR, and MSS or HPMS blocks. Libero SoC V12.3 supports locking of unused CERTES, FDDR, MSS, and HPMS blocks. With this release, the device underscore info programming action now reports the family name and product name of the device being programmed. It also reports the status of the Cortex-M3. The SVF programming file format is now supported in the Bitstream export for Smart Fusion 2 and Igloo 2 devices. Other enhancements include a consolidated multi-corner timing report and improvements to the design hierarchy navigation on HDL language duplication modules and multiple definitions error message for certain RTG4 devices. See documentation for details. This release also improves the hierarchical export option for smart design components. For Polarfire, the number of half-chip globals that can be automatically assigned by place and route has been increased from 24 to 36. Thanks for watching. For even more details on all the available features, please refer to the link in the description of this video for the Libero SoC version 12.3 release notes.